Hi, my name is Janet and welcome to 365 Inspired Yoga Classes. Today is day 60 and in our practice today, we're going to practice a posture we've done before called Half Moon and we're going to bring it into flow. So you're going to need at least two blocks recommended, but one at the top of your mat and one at the bottom of your mat. And this will make sense a little later on. We'll start seated, and if it's more comfortable for you to seat, sit on a block, grab a block for that, and or maybe a blanket. So I'm gonna start with a blanket underneath my seat, folding it over to a comfortable height for me. And as I sit down on this blanket, we'll pause for a moment here to find that segment of inspiration that is the combination of finding balance and flow. So as you pause here, just close your eyes for a moment, roll your shoulders down and back, sit up nice and tall, place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly, and let's take three deep breaths. Inhale, feel the belly expand and the chest expand, and then exhale slowly. Good, two more just like that. Breathe in deeply through your nose, lips are sealed. Slowly breathe out of your nose. At the bottom of the exhale, really pull the tummy in tight. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring your hands to prayer position in front of your heart, nodding your head down slightly. Just take this moment to set your intention to find a combination of balance and flow. And when we practice this on the mat, we experience it in life off the mat as well. And slowly blink open your eyes. Our practice will require that we balance on one foot and also that our body moves in a lateral or sideways motion. So as we begin to set up the practice, we'll move slowly and feel the body moving in this lateral way. So seated it on your mat, take your left hand, place it down, take your right hand, reach it up. Breathe in and as you breathe out, tilt over to the left. Can you feel the extension through the right side of your body? Good. On your next inhale, rise up, and as you exhale, take your right hand down, left hand high, breathe in, and as you breathe out, stretch over, lateral or side body movement. Try to keep the shoulders square. Your gaze might be directly forward or even tilted slightly up. Let's invite a little flow into this side body stretch. Inhale, reach high, and exhale, left hand down, right arm over. Breathe in, rise up, and exhale to the opposite side. One more time each side, inhale center, exhale tilt over to the left, breathe in, rise up, and breathe out to go right. Good, next time you come all the way up, and reach both arms high and bring your hands down. Come into a tabletop, and here's where a blanket might be handy, because we will be spending some time on the knees, and if your knees are tender, maybe take the blanket a little bit flatter and place it beneath your knees. And as you come into tabletop, onto the hands and knees, set your wrists beneath your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And let's flow through cow and cat. Flow with your breath. Inhale, cow, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, cat, round it out, back pushes up. Breathe in. Exhale, cat, two more times. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more round. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come back into a neutral tabletop position. Sink the right foot to the back of the mat, pushing your heel back, just stretching. Move forward and back a little bit if you like. We'll use this for a lateral body stretch. We're gonna shift forward and take our right foot, slide it to the left, keeping the right leg strong and straight. Peek over your left shoulder. Feel the side body stretch in the right side of your body. You can hold still or flow forward and back. Come back to neutral, sweep the right leg to the right side, all the way over even with your left knee, and come to standing upright on your left knee. Let me turn to face the camera so you can see better. My left knee, hip, shoulder are all aligned, my right leg goes out straight to the side, and my toes are turned slightly in with the full right foot on the mat. Lateral side body movement, right hand down, left hand high, breathe in, and as you exhale, slide over to the right, feeling the stretch through the left side of your body. Breathe in and go a little further as you breathe out. One more breath, inhale, exhale. On your next inhale, rise up and as you breathe out, bring your left hand down, stretch your right hand high. 
and reach over. Feel the stretch now through the right side of the body. Perhaps you gaze up and underneath your right arm. Just breathe here. Oh, feels good to stretch and extend through the side of the body. Hmm. Let's crawl the hands back to tabletop. Let me reorient myself and come back to tabletop with knees and hands on the mat. Do all of that on the second side. Left foot to the back of the mat, toes curled under, push your heel back. Ah, oh, delicious. Maybe move forward and back a few times. If that's what you're doing on the first side, do it on the second just to enjoy an equal balance in both sides of your body. Shifting forward, slide the left foot to the right. Peek over your right shoulder, feeling the side body stretch through the left side of your body. And if you like, move forward and back a little bit on the back left toes there. It's really stretching, warming up, nice and easy. Shifting forward, swing the left foot all the way over to the left side of the mat and come to standing on your right knee. With your left hand resting on your left thigh, leg on the outside, breathe in, reach your right hand behind as you exhale. Take that side body stretch over. Good, breathe in. Go a little further on your exhale. Once more, inhale, exhale. Breathe in, rise up, and as you exhale, take the right hand down, left hand high, and take that side body stretch over to the right, extend through the left side of your body. Couple breaths here. Mm, feels so good to extend and stretch the body. And then bring your hands back toward tabletop and both knees on the mat. From here, we'll curl the toes under, push up and back to downward facing dog. With your hips up nice and high, if you've got a blanket on the mat, it might start to get in the way, so set it aside. We're done with that for now. Pedaling out the legs, just stretching, really extending, breathing here. Mm, a couple more breaths. Now lift your gaze and begin to walk to forward fold at the top of the mat. Leave your feet separated a little bit and let's hold opposite elbows and sway gently side to side. Good. Release your hands to the mat and bring your feet together. It's okay to keep them separated and slowly round all the way upright to stand. Once you come up, circle both arms high overhead. So this is mountain pose. We'll add a side body stretch to mountain pose. We're going to move through sun salutations, adding this extra lateral movement. Lower your left hand down and stretch through the right side of your body. You feel that? Just take a couple breaths here. Mm. And then rise back up. Let's try the other side. Right arm releases, left side stretches. Come back up to center, and as you breathe out, fold forward all the way down. Mm. Inhale, halfway lift, squeezing your shoulder blades together, nice long spine. As you exhale, plant your palms, and step back to down dog. So you can choose to do a yoga push-up here, on or off the knees, or just hold out here in down dog. Mm. From down dog, look forward and step to forward fold at the top of the mat. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to mountain. Now let's flow with the breath. Exhale, left arm releases, right body stretches. Breathe in, come up to center. And exhale, right arm releases, left side body stretches. Breathe in, rise up, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, plant your palms, step back to down dog. Option to come to the knees or from the tippy toes, flowing through your yoga push-up into cobra or up dog, and exhale to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, breathe in to look forward, and as you exhale, step to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain. Let's do this again. Exhale, left arm releases, right body stretches. Breathe in, rise up, and exhale to the second side. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to down dog. Or flow through high to low, maybe off the knees. Breathe into upward facing dog. And breathe out, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more breaths here, inhale. Exhale, and once more, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in, look forward, and as you exhale, step to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale, forward fold. Breathing rise all the way up to mountain, and as you exhale, bring your hands to a prayer position in front of your heart. <laughs> right on cue, it just started pouring outside, so if you're hearing extra flow noises, it's raining here at my house. Let's move into balance. We've worked on the lateral body stretches, preparing us for our challenge part of our practice, but we really need a little more practice with balance on one foot. So let's practice tree together. Shift to the left foot, lift the right knee, turn the right foot out. Can, right foot to the ankle, calf, or inner thigh. So make a choice. Once you find that, maybe your arms reach high. And we might let the arms flow side to side because our inspiration today is finding flow and balance at the same time. Bring your hands back to your heart and lower your right foot down. Second side, right foot is the foundation. Turn your left foot out, bring it into place. Woo, this foot always gets me a little more challenging. <laughs> Cheating with the wall just a little bit. There we go, we got it. And maybe growing branches. Flowing arms, balance and flow. Nice. And then start to bring your hands back to your heart. Lower your left foot down to the mat. Fantastic. We're ready. Let's create our sun B, bringing half moon into flow. And I'm going to add a sweet little challenge, a bit of a mandala moving toward the back of the mat. It'll make sense when we get there. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, and as you exhale, let's sink into chair. So rather than setting your hips forward, knees forward, set your booty back and let your chest lean forward slightly as we build strength in our legs. Breathe in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, find down dog, or flow through your yoga push-up. If you're flowing, lift to up dog or cobra. We'll meet in downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, breathe and take your right leg high. And as you exhale, place your right foot between your thumbs, spin your back foot flat. On your inhale, rise up to warrior two. So as you come to warrior two, you know the stance, right knee over right ankle, arms stretch out, relax the shoulders down, gaze over your right fingertips. Breathe in, reach forward, and as you exhale, tilt to extended side angle. So as you find extended side angle, I want you to notice where your block is. It's forward of the foot. We're gonna shift from extended side angle into half moon balance. You're gonna skip off the back left foot, reach for the block, and lean into the block with your right hand, and lift left leg and left hand. Some of you may find you can do this without a block. Definitely challenging. <laughs> Let's use a block for today. Drop the back foot down and rise up to warrior two. On your inhale, rise up to start. We're gonna adjust the feet. Turn the front foot in, back foot out, and exhale to warrior two at the back of your mat. Here's where we create a mandala by moving to the back of the mat. Breathe in and exhale into extended side angle. So we're ready to try half moon to the back of the mat. Look down, look for that block, skip the right foot forward now, come to balance on the left foot, holding on to the left block with your left hand. If, like me, you try it with no block, maybe just playfully see how it works today. Maybe bringing the block into play, and then breathe in, rise up, we come up to warrior two. Whew. Sink deep as you breathe out. Let's inhale, rise up to star. Exhale, open it up, warrior two to the front of your mat, back to where we started. Breathe in, reverse your warrior. Take your right hand high, lunge deep into the right knee. Gaze up, inhale, exhale, hands to the mat. Step back and flow through high to low plank. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Second side, inhale, left leg high. Breathe out, low lunge. Inhale, brings you up, warrior two. And as you set yourself up, check it out. How does it feel? Opening the arms out, stretching through the fingertips, gaze over your left fingertips. Breathe in, exhale to extended side angle, left elbow, left thigh, right hand high. And here's where we make our way to half moon by gazing to the left, looking for the left block as we skip the right foot forward, finding half moon here and with the left leg. Looking at the mat is a little bit easier, looking down, looking to the side and looking up is a little more challenging. On your inhale, come up to warrior two. Exhale as you sink deep. Breathe in, rise up to star, adjust your feet. Exhale, turn your toes, you're doing warrior to the back of your mat. Here we go, breathe in, reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle, look at that block. 
start to skip the left foot forward and find half moon to the back of your mat. That's kind of a far reach. Usually the block is about a foot or two from the balance foot. Gazing down is easier, to the side or up is more challenging. Begin to soften the right knee and breathe in, rise up to warrior two. Good. Stay as you breathe out. Let's come up to star. Exhale, warrior two to the front of the mat, left foot at the front. Inhale, reverse your warrior, left hand high. Stay deep in the left knee, look up, breathe in. Exhale, hands come back down to the mat. Step back to down dog or flow through high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Woo, from down dog, let's look forward and step to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Okay, here's our challenge for the day from chair pose. Let's move through this sequence. One breath to one movement. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, shift forward and exhale to half moon. Breathe in, rise up to warrior two. Sink deep as you breathe out. Inhale, star, turn the toes out. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Breathe in, uh, shift forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Start to shift forward, inhale, exhale to half moon, back of the mat. Breathe in, rise up, warrior two, sink deep as you breathe out. Inhale, rise up, star, straighten the legs, straighten the arms. Exhale, warrior two to the front of the mat. Inhale, reverse warrior. Breathe out, hands down. Step back, high to low plank or waiting down dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Yowza, that was challenging. Let's try the other side. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, look forward, step forward. Exhale to half moon. Breathe in, rise up, warrior two. Sink deep into it as you breathe out. Inhale, star, rise up, pivot the feet. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Breathe in, shift forward, exhale to extended side angle. Begin to skip off the back foot. Inhale, half moon. Stay for your exhale. Breathe in, warrior two. Sink deep on your exhale. Inhale, star, turn the toes out. Exhale, warrior two, left foot leaning to the front of the mat. Breathe in reverse, left hand high. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back, high to low plank. Breathe in up dog. Exhale, down dog. Yes, I look forward, step through. Have a seat. That was intense. All right, so we're gonna get into a little bit of ab strengthening. Make sure you've got plenty of room around you because we're gonna play here. So if you can make some space, go for it. We'll start in boat pose, experimenting with that. Anytime I have a date that ends in a zero, like today's day 60, I like to think about the shape of that circle. Like we just did a mandala front and back of the mat. We're gonna play around with that shape here as we find boat. So you're gonna sit in a boat, your boat, and then start to rock back, whoop, and start to turn your body as you come onto your back. So you're rolling around in a boat circle. <laughs> Watch out for the wall back there. There we go, till I'm facing the back of my mat. Nice, okay, let's do that going the other way. Just take yourself lightly, have some fun, rolling back and shifting back. Rolling around, whoop, almost there. Every time you roll up, your abs tighten a little bit, and we wind up where we started. Find yourself sitting up nice and tall. Find your best boat. Maybe straighten the legs. Hold, breathe, Whoop. and then lower all the way down. Let's take this into a full body stretch. Reach overhead, find your block, and stretch nice and long. Whew. Good. Grab that block. Pull it on top of your knees and give yourself a little extra squeeze. Rock a little side to side. We'll move into bridge pose using the block in order to use the adductor inner thigh muscles to keep the legs together. So take your block to its thinnest setting, place it between your thighs and squeeze your thighs together. Your feet about hip distance apart and draw the heels close to your seat. 
reach down and see if your fingertips can touch your heels. This is bridge pose. We'll do it three different ways. So you try it, see what works for you. Gaze directly at the ceiling. Do not turn your head to the side. And then holding the block in place, breathe in to start to lift your pelvis up. Just hold here for three breaths, noticing how this feels, squeezing the legs in toward each other, fingertips reaching down toward the heels. One more big breath here. And slowly lower back down. Good. Let's draw the knees in. Take the block, put it on top of the knees for an extra added squeeze and rock a little bit side to side. So let's set the block aside and do another bridge with no block. Your feet come to the mat close to your seat with your hands down. We'll call this one a flowing bridge. Here we go. As you inhale, lift your hips and lift your arms simultaneously as high as you can. Maybe even the backs of your hands touch the block back there or the floor back there. As you exhale, bring it all the way back down. Two more times, look up at the ceiling. Do not turn your head, please. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down slowly. Good. One more time. Breathe and lift the hips, lift the arms. As you breathe out, lower all the way back down. Counter stretch your spine by hugging your knees in and rocking gently side to side. One more version of bridge posture. Here we go. Place your feet on the mat beneath your seat. Bring your fingertips down toward your heels and begin to breathe in as your hips lift into the air. Now see if you can shimmy your shoulders beneath you a little bit more and maybe you can interlace your fingers underneath your back. Find that nice little lift. Staying just like you are. Feeling strong, the knees draw in toward each other so you don't even need a block to know what to do. And slowly release your hands, release your back all the way down. Draw your knees into your heart and give them a squeeze. Good. Place your feet on the mat beneath your seat for supine pigeon. Kick your right leg up. Place the right ankle on the left thigh and open the right hip. Lift your gaze and thread the needle if you want to go deeper, bringing the hands through. Lie back down, really enjoy the stretch. This is a nice relaxing way to open the hips and it's a gentle stretch for your lower back and your glute muscle on the right side. Good. Hmm. One more breath here. Start to wind down, relax, slow down. Release the hold of your left leg, keep the right leg high, and then place your right foot down. Second side. Breathe and take your left leg lifted up. Bend the left knee, place your left ankle over the right thigh, lift your head, thread the needle to go deeper, bringing the left hand between the legs, meeting the right hand at the back of the right thigh, and lie back down, and the left elbow pushes the left knee open. This knee feel amazing. Oh, such a good stretch. It's a challenging practice today, flowing with half moon. Absolutely challenging. So it's nice to reward our challenges with a nice, easy, wind down stretch. Go ahead and let that go. Drop both knees in for a squeeze. Let's release the left leg down, keeping the right knee pulled in. Breathe in. And as you exhale, take your left hand, guide the right leg across the body to the left. Turn your gaze to the right with your right palm open to complete the spinal twist. Couple of breaths in. Unravel your twist, draw both knees in for a squeeze. Change legs, release the right leg down. Keep the left knee pulled in. Breathe in and then guide your left leg across your body to the right and turn your gaze to the left to complete the spinal twist. Feels delicious, doesn't it? Just to open your back a little bit with this gentle twist. Feet on the mat beneath your seat. Let's really stretch the hips by reaching overhead. Grab a hold of the block up there. Lift your hips up like you did for bridge and place the block beneath your sacrum bone. So not the lumbar spine, but lower. And the block has four, three different heights, so you can choose. 
And once you're there, try extending your legs out toward the outer corners of your yoga mat, letting your hips be elevated and the front of your hips get a really good stretch. And if this feels amazing, you can hold this for the entire Shavasana or resting that you like. Really a good stretch for your abdomen and your hips. When you feel it's time to come out of this hip stretch, bend your knees, place the feet on the mat beneath your seat, lift your hips up, slide the block out, lower your back down, and decide if that's how you'd rather spend some time resting. And as you continue to rest, I'm going to roll to the side and come to seated, and you can join me if you like seated or rest longer as I share the inspiration for our practice today, and it comes from the musician Don Henley. And he said, my creative life is a constant struggle to achieve balance between letting things flow in and letting things flow out. So I hope in our practice today, you have found a balance between balancing on one foot, balancing your life, and also staying in the flow of life. I hope you take that with you as you move out into the rest of your day. From my heart to yours, namaste. I want to close by thanking you for subscribing to Free Yoga Club and for sharing our channel with your friends and family members. And thank you so much for those of you that are leaving comments. It means so much to me. If you haven't done so yet, comment below about our video, about our channel. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you.